Climate change is happening. We're feeling the impacts today. Both floods and droughts are becoming more frequent, and they're less predictable, and there's a higher degree of uncertainty. So we need to take action in terms of different adaptation approaches, but also looking at how can we forecast and how can we use information for better planning and preparedness. The issue is flood and droughts, which are becoming frequent nowadays. So this is giving us a push, a rather a step forward, a leap from, in uh, addressing the issues of floods and droughts. One thing that uh, any utility needs is information. And if we can have a, su a support system that helps us identify and collect information and analyze that information to allow us to make correct decisions at the right time, that will be a very powerful tool that will help us manage the variations of climate and therefore deal with droughts and floods as they occur. If you like to manage water, you need to have information. And the information should cover uh, almost all the things, for example, like the weather, rainfall, uh, level of water, uh, level of water in the river and also in the city, and even a storm surge. We need information on uh, hydro uh, uh, meteor conditions, as well as social and environmental you know, conditions. Stakeholders would use the tools in the decision support system mainly to get the data they have in one place to easily overview and analyze it and then to use the tool in decision making and planning to estimate impacts or impacts, drought impacts, flood impacts on specific locations in their basin on water utilities to make plans. It could be plans for operating reservoirs, it could be investment plans for building new infrastructure in the basin, always taking into consideration uncertainties in the climate information. The training is about tools that can help us plan so that we can be able to predict uh, floods and droughts. For example, if we know that um, during drought situations it will affect our water quality, we can implement certain upstream measures that would reduce the amount of pollution that would be brought into our um, raw waters. For the basin like the Nile, it it's gives a common ground, a common ground for all uh, type of planning and management of uh, the basin. And once uh, you got the updated information, that means you, it assists you for decision making. We have several agencies related to water management not only the data collectors, but also the regulators. Today, the drought and flood problem is an across agency problem. So these two will help us not only to bring together the data, but also bring to the, together the stakeholders. The decision support system tool is important because it will help and improve for the preparation, preparedness. C'est un outil que nous allons pouvoir utiliser pour faire des projections dans la planification des ressources en eau et ça va beaucoup nous aider. Qui joue et s'abstient dans les cas de sinistre, c'est-à-dire que nous avons besoin de faire des projections dans la planification des ressources en eau et ça va beaucoup nous aider. Qui joue et s'abstient dans les cas de sinistre, c'est-à-dire que nous avons besoin de faire des projections dans la planification des ressources en eau et ça va beaucoup nous aider. Qui joue et s'abstient dans les cas de sinistre, c'est-à-dire que nous avons besoin de faire des projections dans la planification des ressources en eau et ça va beaucoup nous aider. Qui joue et s'abstient dans les cas de sinistre, c'est-à-dire que nous avons besoin de faire des projections dans la planification des ressources en eau et ça va beaucoup nous aider. 